Hello, my friends, and thank you for being with me yet another month. Welcome to all newbies and invite you to become a subscriber because then you get notified when I'm live and it gives you opportunity to kind of interact and bring your energy on board. Now, just a few quickie introductions. I still have my annual Terrascopes on sale. You get one for only $10 and all of them for 20 And I will continue during the April to he have my speed up promotion. I am working very hard to kind of catch up with this, but for you it works that instead of like three, four weeks, now you're upgrading automatically to a week. So regular reading is becoming rush and rush reading, which for seven days is becoming urgent. So from seven to three and the urgent reading is not more three days. It is like 24 hours. So it's kind of awesome. I am doing my best if you do the order for urgent before two p.m. Eastern Standard Time to actually do it the same day. But then again, sometimes I have to go and see my dad and I'm not at home. So but at that stage, I'm going to send you an email saying the timeline for the urgent ones. Now, guys, this is all there is. Uh, we still have Mercury retrograde until the 15th and then another three weeks for the shadows. So, yay. How is your car going? How is your phone? Is it slow? Is your computer slow? What broke down? And I really hope it is not affecting you as much as it's affecting me. In any case, um, I'll be doing um, just a regular tarot monthly. And then, of course, it's going to be revolving then to uh, Lenormand and X spread shortly thereafter. Thank you guys very much. And please like subscribe and share this video and you know that i love you Gemini's and welcome to your monthly reading so let me get one more card for you which I didn't shuffle because I thought I'm going to leave this deck aside but I really want to see because as you can see kind of like everything reversed but then again this makes sense record retrograde Gemini right it seemed to be relationship right together and and that kind of like would make some sense to me okay so let me just see gemini the world and we have the world here all right so i'm getting a better understanding about what's happening so gemini i feel that you're going through some kind of situation where um there is a shift because you have quite a few cards that are major arcana you have grace which is the temperance card you have demon cat you have the hermit you have strength, you have the priestess, and you have the world twice, up and down. And so let me see, in the chariot, one, two, three, four, five, six, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is a going to be a big shift in energy for you something is going to render you to the next stage and you know what happens whenever you kind of like start springing into kind of like a new stage you kind of like feel insecure you feel wobbly on your hands right you're definitely craving for a new start you kind of like did finish something this is the underlying energy which is really 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 good now how to go about that is kind of going to be different. I think you try to be kind of very graceful about things in the past and kind of like deal with different things. Kind of try to maybe create something in a situation. But this kind of is interesting. I think that 
I <laughs> see this is the person who wants to do everything best from the situation this is the person who goes hey birdie I'm going to just kill you just because I can so very two different things but then again this could be two types of Gemini's you know like after all you have these like I mean character representing me two different faces and one can be super sweet and gentle and one can be simply this kind of demonic so this demon cat also tells me, especially combined with nine of sea reversed, you are not getting something that you wanted. And you see this last phase nine, nine and nine that we have here, something is shifting, but it's not shifting the way you want it. Something is kind of like really almost like making you feel lonely. It is making you feel unaccomplished. And it's making you feel you're really not getting what you want. Nine of C to me is about dreaming about things, but not willingly going after them, right? So sort of like always feeling bad that you are kind of coming out short. So for example, if you want to be successful in anything, business, painting, singing, you have to really, you know, everybody tells you it is 99% of perspiration and basic 1% of luck. So that work of 99% has to happen. You have to wake up every day. You have to go to work. You have to do the stuff. Waking up and crawling out of bed at 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, kind of like moving around and then expecting things to fall in your lap, just like this, doesn't really happen. And I think something like that is derailing you. You have the five of C and then you have the chariot, both reversed. So something has happened that kind of like didn't reach the emotional fulfillment, which you hope for. Something or somebody, um, or maybe you, could be embarrassed by maybe somebody embarrassed you maybe somebody kind of like set the stage where maybe you're sim simple thinking in terms of black and white right sometimes you know we have the status quo where we just cannot move on like I mean there are two firm unmovable objects that kind of like can go and it, it this also card always tells me about the X's always like I mean you have like these cards of duality and derailment in all of that so somebody really played a big role in kind of like stopping the progress so almost like it feels like you were just kind of like saying done i'm going forward i'm moving and then somebody put a wrench into the whole system and off you go you're like oh my god i just can't believe it it is like when i record the video during the mercury retrograde and i think hey one more sign is done when you realize the whole recording just like vanished or you record everything and it has no voice something like that and then again that's kind of mercury retrograde and of course you and virgos are highly affected with this and some of that is to be expected wow. what do you love Gemini's? What else can they expect this month? Nothing else? Yes, I love you too. Look at this loving, 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 loving kitty. So, Gemini. This kind of look is really interesting because this is again like something that has happened. The underlying energy is the world. The world is such a good card. But here it came reversed. So something very, really shortly after you hear this reading will happen that is going to feel like, oh my freaking God, I'm stopping in a, in a place and I'm not moving forward. And like, just keep in mind that you will probably feel very uncomfortable about this, right? Because the string card reversed and the demon cat are not a good combination. The string card reversed can talk about... Uh, <laughs> overly overpowering something pushing something down somebody's throat or somebody pushing it down your throat be very careful with this card um kind of like worries me this also can have a little bit of non-committal energy maybe you thought you will save something maybe you thought somebody you will get together with someone and it just kind of like felt you're almost there maybe you even got a promise and then things just like went kaput that's probably because Mercury retrograde visited us not on the fifth, not on the twenty second, but three weeks before. So sort of like the entire March was the shadow, and some people like me are very affected during the shadow as well. 
And I think what is really bothering you, given that you're an air sign, is bothering you the impact that basically um, some secrets or secretive things or other people um, holding something back away from you. And look at this here as well. Like you're just trying to get enthusiastic. You're trying to move forward in the situation and then somebody just grabs your hard labor or hard work and everything that you, you have worked on over here kind of like goes off. Maybe it is one of those times of reassessment. We are trying to figure out how to go, go forward or maybe even more mature when to give up because you have here seven of sky and here you have a fire tom and fire tom is like reassessing your energy is something moving forward do you want to push do you need to push more or do you need to push less and it's kind of like I feel that you during the Mercury retrograde will be in a sort of a fog because look at this having the same card up and down can mean that any given point you will think you're going forward and you're actually going and end up backward you know like kind of crescent you kind of like end up on the same spot and given that you're near sign that that can totally freak you out it's just like kind of like come on like how come i didn't think through it and what the heck is going on kind of like it's going to be a little bit i would say unfulfilling period and but at the same time you will be really exercising your inner muscles not so much emotional muscles even though i see this kind of like feeling unfulfilled on some kind of level but you're going to be sort of uh, it's kind of like you have very strong earth over here and you have fire you have um basically water over here so it is kind of like really grounding energy that is really needed over here. You kind of have to come to terms about what you need to let go. And the strength card reverse can also mean non-committal energy. Whether this is you not willing to commit to something, which could mean, well, at this stage, I am on my own. I am happy and I don't want anything. But this can mean that you feel you need commitment from someone and it's kind of like gets tangled up emotional situation right and hence it is something still from the past that is still going on and happening and it's preventing you from this new world that you're sort of envisioning that should be happening so let's talk a little bit about demon cat on my other channel i did connect it to the codependency video and some of you are not taking this seriously codependency is a big thing why codependency is when we grow up with wrong programming right every computer kind of gets an update you kind of with update kind of like you iron out all the wrinkles people should be updating themselves by you know studying learning about the people learning from a different kind of like standpoint there is a wonderful tool for archetypes but not everybody does that so this is talking about somebody who grows up to be an adult and is still behaving either like a child or kind of obnoxious in at, at points but also a person who is stuck in a situation that feels no exit and hence i can see the sadness and hence i feel kind of like some kind of derailing in a situation i also think that you don't have all this information which kind of is weird being sorry you're being an earth sign like you have like two or pardon me you're being an air sign two earth fire and then water so where is the air this is the only air and this air is talking about thievery, theft, something being taken away from you, or you're taking something away from somebody else. It can be both ways, kind of like feeling consequences of distractions, feeling maybe the opportunities flew away, or feeling that somebody is hiding something, oops, pardon me, away from you. And that kind of like is something you really want to address. This is a big card to resolve. This is a card that you know we encounter every so often 
where we need to kind of like say to ourselves, okay, wait a minute, I have to let bygones be bygones. Because if we don't, we simply, by not addressing this, we get into the stage of closing ourselves. We all have been in this hermit stage where you're kind of like heading, where instead of like resolving situation, you feel victimized, you feel you're not on your path, you don't know what your path is, you don't know who which people are there for you you don't know like i mean why you're in the situation you kind of like almost feel even resentful and sad all in one but manifesting it on the outside with with an anger and anger is the same as sadness actually it's even better than sadness because it's the end tale of sadness right so this is a really big period for you guys. So let me just check a few cards over here. And I don't really think it's bad. I really think this is simply sort of like a salt shake. That sort of like, you know, got crusted on the bottom and you have to kind of like knock it on something to un kind of like glue that from the walls on the side and restart. And that's kind of what's happening. So this one wants to talk about it. And again, it's talking about something from the past that you kind of like have moved on from something from the past but it's still nonetheless on your mind there is like still some kind of sense of loss over something that you didn't get and i guess you're going to tell me in your comments i hope for some of you because the demon cat can talk about the exes and given that we are that you are gemini that we are in the mercury retrograde maybe the exes are appearing um, this can talk about legalities maybe they're appearing with kind of carrying sort of Trojan horse they're nice but they want something from you and something that you definitely don't want kind of a thing let me see nine of C what is this here for prison like, uh, oh my gosh is somebody married here is somebody uh, trying to escape from the situation and again I, I, I really feel that you don't feel fulfilled and that kind of like seems to be a focus of everything like everything here is more or less coming down to that you need to take some time off yourself you need to be clear because this is generally Sagittarius card temperance and guess which sign is on the other end of Sagittarius that would be you Gemini and it's always talking about the tangent of communication and grounding this communication maybe something has started in ground and people get resentful lots of emotions bubble up to the surface when something like this happens let me just see the strength card here i'm just going to open up you kind of want to move forward from somebody or from something or start new direction if you guys are single you simply have to gauge when you're pushing too hard when you're like too soft when you come across as sissies even though i don't think you are sissies but like sometimes to the other people um that's what they see in air signs and that's because we air signs are controlling very much not to come across as cruel or cold or aloof and then sometimes we come across as fake so never mind you you just cannot change who you are i would just say try to be more authentic try to not to explode try not to feel victimized if the feedback comes back to you oh you did that to me you did that to me because otherwise that would drive me nuts around the clock with the <laughs> comments i get on the site i'm always trying to see okay so uh, wait a minute okay oh wait a minute maybe the person really want to help me and, and kind of like try to look at the situation that way because that actually is going to be a really good tool for you this month so let me see this world reversed why is it reversed okay it's kind of interesting because it's ask, asking it's telling me that you're making certain things too hard and that's that art sign you're kind of grounding certain things but you cannot ground them and it's just kind of like that's why the world you're holding that world from spinning you kind of like oh my gosh it's just quit working just working whole 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 everything collapses kind of a thing it's telling you, you know what just let go just relax you it's literally that butterfly it's the airborne right so telling you look everything will work out just take it easy right this is the somebody holding something maybe you're waiting for some kind of service maybe you're waiting for some answers maybe you're trying to get to the bottom 
groups and situation because these two cards the priestess and the hermit both of them have this quietness buried in it right both of them also have the moon if you really look at it right and then also the chariot is the moon card so i think you are really dealing with some kind of deception or trying to get to the bottom of that because this is also a card of deception or some kind of activity or somebody doing something behind your back or you are trying to go forward and you are wondering if they're going to do that so let me just check this you know what this is a really good card it's called surprise it's this cool guy is trying to get some fish and he got tons of money so <laughs> be very careful that something that you actually gain in the process that you're not going to gain something because of suspicion because everything is like just imagine that you're operating this month with a blindfold you literally have to check and ask everything two or three times and please check my Mercury retrograde video because it's going to be very beneficial they like this is what is telling me that you actually do have every potential and every ability to actually really be pleasantly surprised regardless of everything so it looks like you're really getting to the point of figuring figuring out that certain things cannot continue going the way it was going and you have to change some ways whether this is you changing your ways or how you react or how you deal with the other people and let me just see that fire tom over there mm -hmm, that's you guys yeah you know what again um balance between push and pull will be very important because like this is some kind of messenger this is something that is kind of like looking up so honestly this month the only person really the biggest person in your way is you and there will be many different aspects that you will be kind of doing and just be careful not to get involved because this is your dark side not to get involved with some flimsy affairs and if you do for some reason use protection because this is telling me this is telling me if you don't want kids be very careful because it might just end up as a shotgun wedding okay guys thank you guys gemini and again this is a general reading and we all have challenges during the mercury retrograde and you are not excluded in fact you are always always the ones who actually gets the biggest brunt of it because you're ruled by mercury but think about the rewards you get from mercury you have this quick wit you can quickly think of the things from the past and display it so right now this is sort of like you know just a cyclical motion and guys, I hope you will get your private reading from me to actually address your private situation because this is a general reading and your comments are welcome and expected and lovely. And I really hope that we can help each other on this side. So if one person says, well, this is what worries me, I'm pretty sure that other people aside from me will be able to answer and jump to it. And lastly, please subscribe if you haven't like and share and see me on Facebook and see me on Instagram. Until the next time, love you Gemini, bye.